counter. Anticipation levels are sky high and every expectation... Hello and welcome to the Riverside here in Middlesbrough. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on live action from the Championship. It's Middlesbrough and they take on Norwich City. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. A look at the starting 11 for Middlesbrough. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. Oh, they could finish here, Stuart. And what a magical save it was. Keen to take it short here. Borja signs. McLean. Oh, a really crisp effort, but just wide. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, the game plan of the coach is to get the ball into the front players as quickly as possible. He is the player to do it. He's brilliant with his back to goal. We'll link up the play, and he's key to the way they play the game. And he read it superbly. Johnny Housen. Jones on the ball. They're relying very much on their passing game in a bid to take the lead. Great defending here. And he takes on the shot. And a goal to give them the lead. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. And back underway. 1-0 it is. McLean. Stacey Duffy in possession well, keeping it on the ground slightly off target however Rowe so getting close to the half time interval and it's going with home advantage albeit not by a lot Stuart what have you made of what you've seen so far Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo and this lead could easily slip away. Physically strong and secure on the ball. Brilliantly blocked. Oh, that is a majestic goal! Volleyed home with precision and style. Superbly done. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish.
And there it is. That brings to an end the first half here in Middlesbrough. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, Derek, he plugged away in that first half, making run after run without too much success, but eventually he got his reward, and what an important goal it was. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. Can they convert? Splendid defending. It is a decent looking attack here. Chance to cross. No panic, just passing. Now winning back possession. Sergeant. Gibson now. Yanoulis. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Well, I have to say, these fans are doing everything to drive their team forward here. Ailing. Promising move from Borough. Chance here. Stopped a certain goal. Can he give them the lead? Well, in position to make it a brace, but not to be. Well, he's certainly been a threat in this game. He's looked so lively. And taken short. Ailing. Using his physical strength to shield it. minutes of the 90 still to go and the teams cannot be separated well the atmosphere is so tense inside this stadium but can they find that moment of magic to win this game the crowd certainly thinks so just listen to them oh that's a super piece of defending and there's the referee's whistle. These two sides cannot be separated. Substitution for Middlesbrough. Well, the ball rolling again. No end to the action. It's the first period of extra time. And I must say, this has been a back-and-forth type of game. 
And super tackle and they've won possession. Janulis. Still passing it around with authority. His determination there for all to see. Oh, but they've lost it now. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. And all the credit in the world must go to the keeper for getting both hands on it. Jones on the ball. Can he play it in? Ailing. Must take the lead here. And the goalkeeper's touch, that was crucial. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. He's driven in the corner. And the first period of extra time comes to an end. Still level here. Well, on they go. Second period of extra time is underway. And taken away. He won the ball. And they need to get tighter here. comes to nothing in the end really should have made more of that <laughs> Onel Hernandez Borough have it back and they're on the front foot looking for a winner near the end of this game and that'll be offside Ben Gibson Oh, great vision. Can they forge ahead? Oh, a challenge of the highest order. 
locked together then, these two sides. And on we go now to penalty kicks. And this will test the mentality of any footballer. Clinical, as always, in front of goal. Can he remain calm? Low and accurate, that penalty. And it's gone in. And up he comes, doing his best to remain focused. Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. He had to score, and he does. Composure is so important under these trying circumstances. And it wasn't the greatest penalty, and it's been saved by the keeper. And he scores! Well, the responsibility is on his shoulders. Failure to score, and they lose. In it goes! Well, it comes down to this. In, and they win. A mountain of pressure on him, but he withstands the test, and they've gone and won it. Well, cool, composed, and really good technique. A match-winning penalty, and probably deserved over the course of the game.